In this video, we will be taking a look at Eulerization. Before we do that, let's go back and look at Euler paths and circuits, the theorems contained in those. So remember, number one, a graph will contain an Euler path, and that is a way to get from here to there that covers every edge of a graph without repeat if it contains at most two vertices of odd degree. I'm going to be looking really for exactly two because you can never have one. And if you have zero, it takes you to something even more powerful. That's our second theorem, is that a graph will contain an Euler circuit. Remember, a circuit is something that starts and stops at the same place. And of course, it's Euler, so it covers every edge without repeat. And this can only happen if all vertices have an even degree. So that would mean no odd vertices, right? This other one would be too odd. If you have more than two, then it neither has an Euler path or an Euler circuit. Let us consider this map here. We have of um, we have North Kingsburg, South Kingsburg, and three islands in between. This could be abstracted by uh, vertices. I could put a vertice for the three islands, A, B, C. So let me do that. I'll go A and then B and then C. I can think of North Kingsburg as all as one vertice as well. I'll just use an N for North. And the same with South Kingsburg. It could be S, all right? The bridges are the connections that will act as edges for the graph. Notice that A is connected to B, so I can connect A to B. I have a bridge connecting B to C. I have a bridge connecting A to S, all right? So let's put an edge right there. I have a bridge connecting C to S, all right? Notice there's two bridges that connect B to N. So I'm going to do like a double edge thing here. I'll curve them so they look a little bit different. And finally, one bridge connecting the north to C. So I'll add that in. Now, if we look at the degrees of each of these, we can go look at our theorems. The degree of A is two. There's two edges connecting two for S, three for C. So there's an odd, right? That's an odd number. B has four, that's even. And N has three, that's also odd. So what we learn from our theorems is that we can have an Euler path here, but alas, no Euler circuit. So we're going to take a look at something in this video where we consider um, how could we repeat one of these edges and, and, and sort of make a circuit so that we start and end at the same place. Um, well, to do that, what of course we know is that we'll have to repeat one of the edges. Um, but we're going to consider it to be an Eulerization when we, it's, it's called, it's basically called duplicating an edge. And I'm going to spell that out in just a little bit. So imagine, uh, for example, that I were to start on um, the B, Island B here in the middle, let's say, and I wanted to walk across every bridge. I could do that, not starting at B, by the way, because remember, you need to start at one of the two odds. But I could do that if everything had an even degree. Now, everything does not have an even degree because I have these two odds. But what I can do is I'm going to just, I'm going to put a little dashed line over here. I'm going to reconnect N and C a second time. What that does is it kind of changes the degree of each from three to four. So that means I'm going to basically duplicate that edge. Now, that does not mean... Well, it could mean that I'm building a brand new bridge, but I don't want to do that. I mean, that costs a lot of money. So what that really means is that I'm going to go twice over the same bridge, basically what that means. But when I draw on my um, on my graph, I'm going to draw it as its own new edge. All right. This is own new edge right there. All right. Now, watch my little man walk around the town now. Right, I could go from B to A and across that bridge, and then I could cross over at C, and then I could go back to Island B. Go up to uh, North Kingsburg, and uh, then I can go down. Now, when I do that, I get stuck at C, but I could walk right back across that same bridge and then come back to where I started. Notice that made me duplicate. I really had to walk across that bridge twice. Now, you can watch it on the graph to the right. I'm going to start at B. I'm going to highlight it. B over to A, down to S, up to C, back to B, up to N back down to C. Now I'm going to walk on the duplicate and then back down to B. So that's called an Eulerization. An Eulerization is where you duplicate um, some one of the edges so that everything would have an even degree. And then I have an Euler circuit under that Eulerization. And I'm, I would have more than one, but the one that I showed you was B, A, S, C, B, N. C, back to N, 
and then back to B so that I started and stopped at the same place. So it's not truly, you're not truly able to walk this city, only crossing each bridge once. But if you want for sure to stop and start at the same place, that's called an Eulerization so that you force a circuit to happen and you end up duplicating an edge. All right, so let's take a look at the formal process. Eulerization is the process of, notice I have air quotes, adding, I'm doing my fingers, right? Adding edges to a graph to create an Euler circuit on a graph. To Eulerize a graph, edges are duplicated, okay? This is super important that you know that it's not, these are not new edges. You can't connect uh, two vertices that were not already connected, okay? You're duplicating them. You connect pairs of vertices with odd degree. The key is to get the ones with odds together. Connecting two odd degree vertices increases the degree of each, giving them both even degrees. Okay, great. When two odd degree vertices are not directly connected, in other words, if they're not next to each other, we can duplicate all edges in a path connecting the two. And um, we're going to take a look at some examples right now. Now, this is a little more abstract. I don't have a story. But what we can do is first mark as quickly as we can the degree of each vertex. Two, three, two, three, 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 two, three, two, three, three, three. And in the middle, four, four, four. Now you'll notice this time we have a lot of odds, right? There's three uh, odds along the top, three along the bottom, one to the left and the right. Now there's different ways to Eulerize this. So something um, that is an interesting question is something called an optimal Eulerization. And the optimal Eulerization is when you can duplicate edges um, the least amount of edges possible to turn everything into an even. So what is the answer? Well, it may be hard to tell, but let's let's try it. So first thing I notice is that if I connect, um, reconnect this three with this three, this changes those both to four and I'm on my way, right? The problem is um, the next three to the right, I don't have anything to pair it up with. So what I might do is I might, this is where it says go along a path. I connect those two, that changes that to four. Unfortunately, the corner is now three, but then I do another one to this next odd. All right, and that changes that one to four and that one to four. Now all of those are even, okay? I can kind of do something uh, like that on the top part as well, okay? I can connect these threes together, making those both four. And then I can connect um, this three to this two, making that four and that three, and finally connecting those two to make them both four. Now what I've actually done is if you look at all the degrees in the picture, everything is now even. So this is an Eulerization. That means I could find a circuit, all right, it's possible, where I would walk across every path starting and stopping at the same spot. Just trust me on that rather than me actually doing it, all right? Here's something that's a, that um, looks, well, let's pull this down just a little bit. Looks like I've pulled my, my drawings down with it well, but I'll, I'll just erase those. This one's a little more complex, and you'll notice that it even has one point kind of off by itself. So we'd start again by... I'm assigning the degree. This is degree one. There's only one edge attached to that. Okay, this one has, you don't forget to count in every direction. One, two, three, four, right? Four there, three there, three there. In the middle here, we have a five, a two. This is four, two, four, two, and two. Now, remember what we're looking for is we're looking to eliminate the odds, right? If we get all evens, then we have an Euler circuit. This is called Eulerization. So note all of the ones on the left are already good. Two, four, uh, and four, and then we have two, two, two. All of those are even. We really have a pr problem with the odds off the right-hand side. So I can quickly fix the five and three at the bottom by connecting those with an, uh, a duplicated edge. That makes this one six right, rather than five, and this one's four. Now, um, the other two odds aren't next to each other, so I just follow along the path. All right, I connect three to four, and that makes the three of degree four and the four of degree five. And then I connect the five to the one, making this a six and this a two. Now I could um, find a, an Euler uh, circuit somewhere along this. Now, for fun, I might just try this one. I don't, I don't know that I'm gonna get it right. That's the danger of doing something live here with you. Let's see. I'll use my um, pink um, highlighter. I'm starting on the uh, right-hand side. I'm gonna go around this path or, or edge. I'm going down this edge. Again, I'm kind of questioning what to do over here, up here, down, over, down, around, around here, over here, 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 up, down, up, now it knows I'm going this around this one and then back on that. And I did it. I, I don't have any letters to assign that, but in other words, I was able to start and stop right here 
at the right hand side after I made everything even. It would be impossible without doing that. Going back to our original problem that kicked off this topic in the first place, remember the Konigsberg bridge problem with the seven bridges. This was kind of like what the map looked like here to the left. And then we um, can abstract that where this island could be called A, right? And this could be the landmass R, landmass L, and landmass D, and the bridges end up being the edges. Well, if you take a look at that original problem that Euler looked at, again, we've done it before, but this is degree three, this is degree five, this is degree three, and this is degree three. The question was, can you cross all the bridges exactly once? The answer is no, there's no Euler path and there's no Euler circuit because all four of these are odd. So that's certainly more than two. So if we actually wanted to walk across every bridge, and start and stop at the same spot. We could do a little Eulerization of this map. So just for fun, we'll do that since it's named after Euler. We could duplicate L with D, changing those both to four. And then we can duplicate, I'm gonna just go across the middle here. All right, A to R, since those are already connected, changing those from six to four. And now there is a possible circuit to start and stop at the same spot. Um, one thing I wanna note, and I mentioned this earlier in the video, but the last thing I wanna leave you with is that, um, you may not just create a new edge, okay? Um, you have to have something that's already connected. Like, let me go back to this previous graph for just a minute where we had connected um, all of these odds together. Now, uh, I had connected um, the ones on the right-hand side, but something you're not allowed to do, like remember this one, this uh, one right in the middle was degree five, right? And this one on the right-hand side was degree one. Those are not directly connected. There's no edge that goes directly from the dot on the right to the dot in the middle. So you can't do something like this, not allowed, not allowed, right? That would be like creating new ground or like just forging through new area on the map. So the idea is you're not allowed to do that. You can only duplicate uh, the edges. All right, I'm gonna have you try a few problems now. Okay, now that you tried those, I hope that you have a little better understanding about Eulerization.